so hello everybody hello welcome to the Cotswolds vlogs number two vlog number two um it is thursday we have been here since sunday um if you haven't watched vlog number one yet of let me get it right monday tuesday and wednesday you can watch that down Ow. below um so yeah today is thursday and today we are off to oxford um we've done like pretty much We've done a lot we've of villages. Village. We've done the main villages. Well, um, most of the main villages. Which you would see in vlog number one. Um, so today we thought we'd switch it up, you know, go to a city. Atticus has never been to Oxford. It's um, meant to be a beautiful place. I've been once a long, long time ago when Anna was younger. You really liked it. Um, yeah, really nice. We were looking at it last night actually. Apparently um, one of the Harry Potter, part of the Harry Potter fields were filmed at part of the university there. And yeah, Oxford's a really nice place. So we're going to have a look around the shops. I'm going to look at the university, have a whole day there about 10 o'clock um Atticus is just going to have some panu chocolates before we go and then we are going to head to Oxford we finally arrived in Oxford wow um actually we've been in Oxford probably about an hour but um if I did a parking space it's been so long I must admit since I drove in a city because normally we'll get the trains and stuff I wouldn't um, even say Manchester's as bad as here it was bad because the main I remember when I came to Oxford last time the main yeah, through here the main um, car park, um, multi-storey, I remember I parked in, it's actually shut today, so we had to find, um, I was literally driving around for an hour. Um, I swear I drove through zero emission zones, I've got to go online and pay, I'm, I'm just not sure. Probably even went down a bus lane at some point, to be honest, but anyway, we'll see. Um, so we are finally, finally in Oxford, going to find a toilet, get a drink, um, I think we just said we were going to do maybe do the open bus tour of Oxford or something. We are going to. Um, so, yeah, drink in the toilet. So, at Michael, Saxon Tower, St. Michael's at Northgate, the oldest church in Oxford. We are currently walking through, um, we've come inside the grounds of Trinity College, so basically one of the buildings of Oxford University. Um, some of the students live here and then obviously they have like their lectures and things more in the city, but this is beautiful. So we're going to look around the chapel in here. Just look at this tree, I'll turn you around and show you this tree, it is amazing. Was Oxford. Um, it's about half past five it's a now. Place. Really good, wasn't it? We Best found out was there was 43 university buildings. There's 43 separate buildings which make up Oxford University. So it's really good. Open bus tour, which you would have seen, that was really good. Just had a really tasty crepe. And now we are going to head back to the Cotswolds. Nice ice cream. <sighs> Done a bit of shopping, asked for some ice cream. Went to Zara, went to Primark, really nice shopping centre here in Oxford. Um, Westgate, really, really nice. So yeah, we're going to get back in the car and head back to the Cotswolds. Took the van away, um, towed it to the recovery station and the fire engine. 
and that's going to be cleared in approximately about half an hour. Mm -hmm. I hold mummy's shopping. What clue are you on? Three. And what's the clue? I'm on egg two, but clue three. That's because it's just had a clue. I warm your favourite things up. Wow. Is a little bit stuck. No. What is it? Come in the kitchen. <laughs> Just found his main prize. He's got King Bear, Coronation Bear. And now he's going to open all his blind bags. <laughs> Friday today. It is Good Friday. Um, we took it nice and slow this morning. Atticus done his Easter egg hunt, which you would have seen. Um, it was quite difficult. Um, I done it. I hid all the um, the clues and the prizes last night when he was asleep, and because the cottage is so small, it was quite difficult. But you enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so today it's obviously, like I say, Good Friday. Everyone's really busy. We're going to go to. Um, a village we, oh actually we were gonna go to um, the wildlife park Cotswold wildlife park which is quite near and I went on last night to book tickets and they're booked up for the next few days so I was um, I googled different villages and that and um, we haven't been to Chipping Camden which is meant to be about 15 miles sorry is meant to be 15 minutes away but because of the Good Friday traffic it's saying on my phone 40 on minutes so we're gonna go there and um, have a look around there. It's going to be a really nice village. Obviously, all the villages are lovely, aren't they? Um, beautiful weather, absolutely beautiful, as you would have seen. The sky is so blue, it's lovely. So we are gonna to head to Chipping Camden. It's gorgeous, look. So the Cotswold Way is that walk I was telling you about where people hike all the way around. Lunch was amazing. I had the ploughmans um, with all local cheese and ham and or oh. Atticus had his current favourite of fish and chips, didn't you? Yeah. And now we're having a good old explore. Um, Chippy Camden, really, really, really pretty village. Houses are insane. So nice. <laughs> so let's get back to great expectations.
so good morning it is saturday morning it is our last day in the cotswolds here's atticus you like atticus yeah he loves it here don't you yeah he really loves it here um yeah it's our last full day we go home early tomorrow morning um it's quite late it's about well just gone 11 we're going to head out to burford today is going to involve because we have done so much exploring i had drove quite a distance every day i've been here so i thought today i just want to you know stay where we're staying explore burford a bit more because we haven't fully um and maybe not drive today i just want to like walk around the village and give burford a good explore um so that is what we're going to do we are going to head out to brunch um in a few minutes i think we're going to go to a place called i don't know if i've shown it in the vlogs before um huffkins it seems to be like the cotswolds um they seem to have one in each village it's like a bakery restaurant type thing so i think we're going to go there i'd like to try that out while i'm here yeah seen us going in Huffkins earlier it's a Cotswold um like chain of tea rooms um I've seen them in most of the villages here but today was the first time we actually went in one we had um warm croissants with butter and jam um so I thought I'm gonna get myself a couple of bits to take back so we've got a little like um hessian bag here then I got some of the Huffkins strawberry extra jam. Definitely paired with our scones and clotted cream for a quintessentially British treat. Yummy. <laughs> so I got a sip of that and then I got myself a little um, Huffkins mug to remind me of this wonderful place. So yeah, my little treats from Huffkins. Stopped again. <laughs> Um, Atticus is going to have an ice cream, I'm going to have a coffee. We just went into a, such a lovely bookshop. I think I did show the bookshop actually in vlog one. I feel I did. It's called the Mad Hatter's Bookshop. Um, Atticus has got a couple of books. I've got some good books. I'll show you later when we go back to the cottage. We've got a really lovely Cotswold book as well with some gorgeous pictures in. Um, so yeah, we are going to sit here, have this. The sun is out. It's the first time this year we're out without a coat. I mean, I've got like a vest top and a shirt on. Atticus got a hoodie but no coat, it's lovely. Um, it's about 14 degrees I think. And then we are going to walk down the hill, all the way down the hill. Um, and I think we're going to go inside the church if it's open. Um, but I'll show you downhill Burford if you are thinking of coming to the Cotswolds. Um, you know, you're not sure where to stay, where you want as your base or whatever. I can honestly say that Burford is a great base. Um, as I said earlier, it, it's known as the gateway to the Cotswolds. So, yeah, it's like the first village you sort of come to, and then as you like enter the Cotswolds from there, it's like all it's all like at the bottom of the hill. So it is known as the gateway, and it is a great, great base. So thoroughly recommend it.
So we have come to the pheasant. Um, we came here the other night. Um, this was the pub where I had the incredible um, chicken and mushroom pie, which I talked about in the Cotswold Vlogs one. It was amazing, the best pie ever. Anyway, um, we've come in today for our last meal in the Cotswolds. Um, it is almost dinner time I'm on Saturday, and we've got to go to the So, Atticus has got fish coujons, chips, and peas. I have ordered a lasagna. I've got to go for a lasagna. Um, we're going to have that, and then we are going to head back to the cottage and have a nice chilled one. Today's been a lot more chilled for me, a lot more relaxing. We just, yeah, and for you, we just wandered around Burford, explored Burford. Um, it's so, so nice. As you've seen, the church is wonderful. Um, really lovely place. Really recommend it to stay here. If you've really enjoyed our Cotswolds vlogs, obviously number one vlog. If you haven't watched that, and this one number two. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to come here to film it and put videos together for you guys if you enjoyed and uh, I will see you again soon for another video. Bye! Come on darling. <laughs> 